Hi, Muffin Top here. I'm just going to show you real quick how to set up a multiplayer server for you and your friends. Note, this is not a dedicated server. There are other tutorials and videos on that. So to set up the server, we're going to want to click on host. So bring us up to this menu. Might be a little different if you don't have a uh, preset already. First, we're going to want to click manage settings. Either you'll come up in a list here, a list of server settings that you already have, or there will be nothing. Either you can edit one, or you can create a new setting. We'll create a new one here. Call it Zomboid Server Test. Here in Details, you can click if you want public or not. This will see if it's shown up on the Steam server browser when your friends go to browse there. You can click this on to public or private, doesn't matter. Password protected. I'd recommend this if you do a public server. For Steam, you leave this as is. Steam Workshop, leave it as is. Unless you're adding more mods. If you have mods, make sure your friends have them installed as well. Mods, same thing. Map, maps used by the server. This is if you have any additional maps, you can add them onto here. Spawn regions. If you want to customize this, you can. You can remove a place if you don't want them to be able to spawn in other locations. So if you want to make it really easy, you can remove everything except Rosewood. If you want you and your friends to spawn only in Rosewood. Players, max players here. 16 is fine as default. This option here, player respawn with self and player respawn with other is actually quite helpful. If you want to sleep, click sleep needed on. And additionally, click sleep allowed on. I'd recommend using this. Trash can delete all if you want trash cans to function like normal. Admin, leave as is. Fire, click no fire if you don't want fire. PvP, if you don't want your friends to hurt you, click PvP off. Leave all these as is. Safe house you have no need for. Some chat things here if you want to customize what they see when they log in. Archon, don't worry. Discord, unless you're integrated with Discord. You, PNP, nothing. Others, nothing here as well. Vehicles, nothing. You can increase the speed limit if you'd like. And then voice as well if you're using in game voice. For your sandbox mode, if you just want to play an apocalypse, click apply preset. If you want to play in survivor, just click apply preset again. And this will change all your other things to the preset. If you want to change any of your other sandbox settings like normal, go through and find out which ones you want to change. After you do this, let's click save. See Zomboid test server here. We'll click back. In the server name with this drop down menu, we're going to select our Zomboid server test. For server memory, I'd recommend at least 4 gigabytes. The default is 1 gigabyte, and that can be fine. But if you have around 4 more players, it's recommended to have 200 kilobytes, or about a fourth of a gig. Per player. With all this, just click start. The game will take a few minutes to initialize. Could be faster if you have an SSD. I'm running an old hard drive, so it is what it is. And here we wait. Once your server starts, either if you already have a character in that server, 
you'll automatically pop in, but if you don't, you can create your character here like normal. For sake of simplicity, I'm going to select Fire, Officer, and Start. Customize everything as normal as well, and load in. To load in, you'll have these things up here. Just click them off. The minimap is an extra feature that is added, but I'd recommend to turn it on. To invite your friends, click Escape. Just hit Invite Friends. Here, you can search up your friends list. So, if you want the trash man mark, just click on him, and it will let you invite once you click on them. And that's it. Once your players come in, you can see them here, and then you can select them on the menu and give them different abilities. So say for yourself, God mode, blah, blah, blah. It's very actually useful to teleport them to you if you want to start together as a team. And with that, that's it. I believe additionally, if your friends want to join your server, they can browse on the Steam uh, list there if your server is public. There's options if it's private so they can see it. But in my opinion, in the way that I've done it, is I just invite friends like this. It's much easier. Alright, hopefully this helped you. Have a good one. See ya.